<laughs> so I'm going to show you how to calculate acceleration today. Acceleration is the rate of change of speed. How quickly do you go from, let's say, a stop to a certain speed? The way I'm going to do that is by measuring the time it takes for this trolley to go down to here and also measuring the speed here with this light gate. So I've told the computer that this card, the length of this disrupt card is 0.1 meters, 10 centimeters. And it's simply going to measure the time that disrupt card breaks the beam on the light gate. And it's going to simply do speed is distance divided by time. It's going to do 0.1 meters divided by however many seconds it gets off there and very quickly calculate the speed for me, so I don't need to do any of that. I know it's starting from zero, so the change in speed will be from zero to whatever that is, just whatever that is basically, and I'm going to manually measure the time from when I let go to when the card goes through the gate. So here we go, one, two, three, go. Three seconds dead. And this one was 0 0.60603. Very accurate, very precise. Precise to five decimal places. But I only really need two decimal places or two significant figures. So we define acceleration as a rate of change of speed. How quickly do you gain or lose speed? That's acceleration. And we're used to talking about fast cars in terms of 0 to 60. 0 miles per hour to 60 miles an hour. That is the change in speed, delta V in the equation. And the time given from 0 to 60, let's say for a slow car, is about 8 seconds. A normal family saloon would be about 8 seconds from 0 to 60. Uh, a Porsche will be about 3 seconds from 0 to 60. So the value for the Porsche of acceleration is much larger because T, the time taken from 0 to 60, is much smaller. In this case I measured my change in speed was from 0 to 0 0.61 and the time it took was 3. So in the calculator 0 0.61 divided by 3 is 0 0.20. The unit is meters per second squared.